Hi, and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be doing my long-awaited Q&A. So back in September when I reached a thousand subscribers, I decided to do a Q&A and I left a video up where I told you guys to leave me some comments. I'm very sorry that it took me so long to get to them, but now we are getting to the questions. The first question is how many books do you own in total? Not exactly sure. I want to say somewhere around 300, 350 books. I have all of the books on this bookshelf, I have many other bookshelves, and then I also have books that are in storage. So the answer in short is quite a lot. The next question is what classics are you wanting to read in the near future? That is actually a fantastic question. The classics that I want to read in the near future are probably Emma by Jane Austen. I've wanted to read that one for such a long time and also To Kill a Mockingbird. The next question is, do you have a job? If so, what is it? Unfortunately, I do not have a job. I don't really have a lot of time for a job, although I do volunteer at the library from time to time. Sandy Reads A Lot asks, besides reading, what else do you do in your spare time? I actually work for my school's TV studio, so that actually takes up quite a lot of time. I also am on my school's debate team. I love watching TV. Binge watching is my pet hobby, and I also enjoy writing. She also asks, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is anything related to pasta or Italian food. I could eat pasta all day long. She also asks, where do you want to travel in the world? I, if I had to pick one place, it would probably be England, although I am also very interested in traveling to Paris and Italy. And the last question that Sandy asks is, what TV shows do you enjoy watching? Well, I enjoy a lot of TV shows. Right now, my two favorites are probably The Gilmore Girls, which they just put up on Netflix. That show is my life. I love it so much. And my other current favorite is probably Arrow. It's based on superheroes, and I am just so in love with that show, although it just destroys me emotionally every time I watch it. And all I have to say about Arrow is Elicity for Life. Ace from Loving Dumb Books asks, when you eat a taco, do you tilt your head or do you tilt the taco? I'm like trying to think of this now. Do I? I think I tilt the taco, although I am not exactly sure about that. 916108 asks, favorite time of day to read? I do most of my reading actually in school when I have a spare moment, but my favorite time uh, to read would probably be at night before I go to bed. She also asks, favorite movies? I have a lot of favorite movies that kind of range. Tangled, I can cry every time I watch that movie. I also love any kind of older romantic comedies. I love Clueless, I love Breakfast at Tiffany's, but my favorite movie of all time would probably have to be When Harry Met Sally. Raven Navar asks, what are your top favorite books and what do you like best about those books? That is a good question and that's a hard question to ask. Um, one would probably be Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I love everything about that book. I love the romance, the characters, everything. I also love Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. That is just the perfect romantic book. I also really love I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Jandy Nelson is just a fabulous writer and she's a great storyteller. Other than that, I can't really think of any, but those are some of my favorites. She also asks, how did you come up with your username? And this is a really dumb answer, but when I was in middle school, I read this book series. I believe it was called The Beacon Street Girls, and one of the girls liked to read, and her username was Skywriter, and I always thought that was really cool. So I made this username a while ago, and I used um, K-A-T as the beginning because my name is Katie. Then we have Skywriter, and then 24 is my favorite number, and it is actually pronounced Cat Skywriter 24 just to clear up any pronunciation issues. Piper from Piper's Book Nook asked, is there a book you wish you could unread? Quite a few, actually. The first one I would have to say is either All the Truth That's in Me by Julie Berry or Lord of the Flies, because I had to read Lord of the Flies for summer work and I just despised it. Hi guys, sorry for the random outfit change, but my camera actually died in the middle of filming this video, so I'm just going to get back to answering questions. Tommy asks, if you could have a meal with three book fictional characters and they don't have to be from the same book, who would you choose and what would you eat? 
Ooh, I like that question. I would probably choose Will Herondale from the Infernal Devices series just because he's one of my favorite characters. Also, Selena Sardothian from Throne of Glass and Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice. And we would probably eat Italian food because Italian food is my favorite type of food. Clara Pond asks, what book gets you out of a reading slump? For this, it's always a book that I really love and I would have to say it would be Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I've read this book so many times and I just love it. I just love it so much and it's just such a happy fluffy book and every time I read it it makes me happy. Nerdy Novels asks what is the most disappointing book you have ever read? This one? Yeah this is a hard one. For me, it would probably be Goddess by Josephine Angelini. This is the last book in her Starcross series. I adore this series to death, but the last book was just such a disappointment for me, and I really didn't like it. Also, Allegiant by Veronica Roth could be used for this answer as well. Valerie Jean asks, favorite song? Well, my favorite song, it kind of changes, but my all-time favorite song is probably Never Let Me Go by Florence and the Machine. Love that song to death. I also really love Dust to Dust by the Civil Wars. Carrie for Life asks, what is the best thing to ever happen to you? This is pro kind of a hard question, but I would have to say joining my school's news team last year, that was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I really, it really opened a lot of doors for me. I made a lot of new friends and I really kind of came out of my shell and it was, it's just been such a good experience for me. Book Gossiper asks, what is the one book you can always count on to make you happy? As I previously said, probably Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, also Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I can relate to that book so much and I just love it so much as well. And she also asks, what is something besides book related that makes you the happiest? And this is a really cliche answer, but probably just hanging out with my friends. Um, it doesn't really matter what I'm doing as long as I'm with other people and we're doing something fun, then I will probably be happy. Now, the last set of questions in this video is from Whitney over at Witty Novels, and I swear she asked me at least 30 questions. So I'm going to ask... So I'm going to try and answer some of these questions. I'm not going to do them all because there are a lot of weird random questions so I'm going to just kind of pick the ones that I think are the most amusing or just most random. First she asks how tall are you? I am actually fairly short. I'm about 5'2", five, 5'2 two, five, two and a half. She also asks can you sing well? The answer to this is no. The extent of my singing is singing in the car and that is not a fun experience. Also asks how many hats do you own? I own probably at least like 10 to 15 hats. I am really into baseball, so I own a lot of random baseball hats that I don't really wear that often. Also asks, Warnet, always. Would you rather take a bath or a shower? I'm more of a shower person, hot showers are one of life's greatest gifts. Do you like red or green grapes more? I'd have to say I'm more of a fan of green grapes, but red grapes are cool too. Do you also ask, what is the most recent thing you took a picture of in your pictures? I will look this up and it's probably something really stupid because all of my photos on my phone are random. <laughs> Actually the most recent thing in my pictures is of my friend doing one of my other friend's eyebrows. Yeah that was an awkward situation. <laughs> what was the last physical CD you purchased? This would probably have to be Ed Sheeran's new album which is absolutely amazing, by the way. Did you name your double, double chin, and if so, what is its name? So this is kind of an inside joke with we, me and Whitney, but whenever I'm on Snapchat, I will send her a Snapchat of me doing a double chin, and she'll send Snapchats back. But no, my double chin does not have a name, so Whitney, you can name my double chin if your heart desires. She also says, would you date a guy with a ponytail? This answer would be maybe. It would depend on the guy. And she also asks to send her a tweet right now in the middle of this video that says chicken nuggets. So I'm going to send Whitney a tweet that just says chicken nuggets, which is probably going to be really random, but... 
Okay, so I just sent that tweet to Whitney, and that's all of Whitney's questions that I'm going to answer because she asks a lot. But thank you guys so much for asking me all of these questions. Uh, there were a lot of amazing questions, so thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again soon.